welcome back to my channel so for today's video I am giving you a life through my eyes video this topic that I'm going to talk about is one that not many family members know not many friends know but it's something that's been eating me up because of things that people have said and trust me uh, it's a, being that I'm about to like cry now just realize this is a very very raw video to be making and very hard video to be making um what i'm going to talk about is my experience with a miscarriage um it's not anything recent um this happened before i had joey and just to say it was scary is an understatement so i got pregnant for the first time back in february of 2009 and I found out towards the end of March, beginning of April of 2009 that I was pregnant. So I had been, when I found out I was, um, when I found if, I think it was about six weeks when I found out that I was pregnant. I was six weeks pregnant. Um, so I found out towards the end of March. Um, so I found out I was pregnant and at this time Chris was living out in Harrisburg and I was still at home because I was still in school. I was 18, about to be 19. And I remember finding out I was pregnant because I, I my, my cycle was very on point. It was like two days, it could come two days before my set date and then two days after that. I had like a five day window. That was it. And I was late and I was super nervous and I wasn't feeling well and just a whole bunch of stuff. So I took a pregnancy test and I remember finding out I was pregnant and I remember telling Chris and I remember being scared but not scared of the fact that I was 18 and pregnant or you know I was going to have a baby but being scared of the fact that I didn't know if I could love a baby. I didn't know if I could love my child. Um, growing up in the circumstance that I did I... I didn't know if love was possible. I didn't know if I could love. I didn't know if I was able to be loved. Like all this stuff. There's just all these raw emotions going through me. And I just remember being super scared that, you know, what if I have this baby and I can't love it? What if I have this baby and it doesn't love me? Like, I was so vulnerable during this time. Like really, really vulnerable. And just so upset. So upset all the time because of just everything going on and just being scared of the fact that I was bringing a child into this world with my parents being around me and just that toxic relationship that I had with them and that toxic environment per se and Chris and I just talked about different things just because you know where I was at in life and you know the fact that if I did tell my family I was pregnant at the time they would have wiped Chris clean of the slate like he can go because they didn't like him <laughs> in certain people still don't like him but that is their own their own fault not mine um, so I remember just like sitting there talking about all these different options and then um, I remember just like, like I said, being upset and I remember towards the middle of April and it's kind of scary because almost, almost to the day that I had Joey, um, I had a miscarriage the year before and I remember I did finally like, now mind you, I found out when I was like six ish weeks. So about two weeks after that. I miscarried so I was about eight weeks along and I remember just like in those two weeks time of me like finding out and then miscarrying I then realized that you know what I can love a baby I can and at that time that's where my mindset came of I'm going to be different than my family I'm going to treat my child differently I'm going to love my child differently I'm going to make sure my child knows every day that I love him or her and so in this two weeks process, I finally like got to the point where I was like, yes, I can do this. I can love a child. This child will know that it's loved and feel it and all this stuff. And I remember then getting to the point where I was like cramping really bad and I had really bad pains. And then I started to bleed. And 
it wasn't just like spotting it wasn't like this small it was bleeding like bleeding bleeding and at that time like my heart dropped i knew what was going on and i was so upset and i cried and cried and cried and cried and cried and at that time i questioned everything around me i questioned everything because you know at this time i was like yeah i can love this child and then that was taken from me the love was taken from me the love i was excited for was taken from me and i was at that point i just i broke down and i was like it's me it's my fault i'm not i'm not meant to be loved i'm not meant to love other people i'm not i'm not meant to have this life and i literally beat myself up day in and day out for Oh God, it had to be like a month straight because I was just so upset with myself and my body and, and just everything around me. And it was so hard, so hard, so hard. And I was just in such a dark place and I didn't want to talk to anyone. And I just, I lost my motivation. I graduated school and that was that. And I literally beat myself up over and over and over and over again because you know, I failed Chris, I failed my child, my body failed me, I wasn't meant to love anyone, I wasn't meant to be loved, just all these thoughts going through your head and it's just, it was so hard, especially at 18 and nobody knowing and oh, to keep that secret from everybody it was, it was easy and hard at the same time and things that are being said now just, they hurt because it's, you know, some people will say, oh Joey, you're, you'll be the only one that's ever been in mommy's belly and you know them not knowing that I've I've had a miscarriage it's it's hard because you know there could have been another one but then I want to have Joey so you know it it's sad that I lost that baby but exciting because I have Joey out of it so so my advice tips watch what you say around people you don't know the experiences or things that they've gone through and sometimes you don't mean to be hurtful but the things you say hurt and you don't want to be that person that makes somebody cry and you don't know why. So just be careful and mindful of the things you say around people. And I just want to say that if you're in a position where you just had a miscarriage or you've had one and you want to talk, I'm always here to talk. Um, and don't feel alone. You're not alone. There's many people that have gone through what you're going through. There's many people that feel have felt what you're feeling. And you're not alone. So reach out, speak to somebody, and realize that there's other people that will help you through it and you can talk to. I hope you guys have seen a little bit more of me now, um, and I'll see you again soon for another video. Bye, guys.